Hello, welcome to By Excellence Tutorials. If you happen to look for a tutor, to tutor you in physics or mathematics, you can easily get in touch with me on the number that is showing in the description box or email me on the email that I've still dropped in the description box. And then if you have not as well subscribed to the YouTube channel, I'm kindly asking you to do so. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Okay, so we have a question on the screen. And this question um, is involving conservation of linear momentum and as well as uh, conservation of energy. Yeah, so we are going to use these two principles in order to solve this question. So you can pause the video and read through the, the question. Okay, so on my side, on the side of the screen there, I've just tried to illustrate the situation where we have, uh, we have a, a bullet that is coming and this bullet gets embedded Okay, gets embedded with the block. Okay, so this is that I'm just highlighting, and that is our bullet. It's also there, somewhere there. <laughs> so this is before the collision, before anything. Okay, so now. We, we can use conservation of linear momentum to, to come up with something as an equation because in the first question here, we have just to, to write or to come up with an expression. So before, before the collision, what we are going to have is uh, con uh, momentum in this case is conserved. So what we, we mean is uh, the initial momentum would be equal to the final momentum as well. So our initial momentum, we have uh, the momentum of a bullet where I've used a small m, and then we also have uh, initial momentum of this same bullet. So how what do we do to to differentiate this, I think we use a b, a small letter b, for speed of the bullet, plus the speed of the block, which has got a capital letter M as its mass. And I'm going to also use u as initial with a capital letter b as its speed. So I'm differentiating should be equal to the, the final momentum. Now this, after, after, after the more like a collision or so, or after the bullet gets embedded, what it is is they are going to move with the same speed. Okay, so the speed is going to be the same. So what we're going to have, because they're going to it's more like stick together, uh, the bullet can be on top and they're moving. So they're going to move with the same speed. So what we, we're saying is that we're going to have um, the M and, and mass of that will give us the final speed. Okay, so the the block is initially at rest. It's not moving. So what is just moving is the bullet. So this part is going to be equal to zero because it is at rest. So what we're going to have is that the mass of the mass of the bullet and the speed of the bullet, initial speed of the bullet will give us mass, the summation of masses and the final speed. 
So we get initial mass of the bullet is equal to the summation of masses over mass, final speed. So this can be our equation one, okay? So we have found our equation one. So now we can as well as, as well use conservation of energy. So I'm going to wrap this. I hope you've seen. So after, after they get embedded, there's that distance there, X, that uh, the spring gets, it gets com com compressed. Okay. So now we can use conservation of energy after after the, the, the bullet gets embedded. Okay. Okay, so after the combination, what is the the what happens to energy? So energy is conserved. So what we have is initial energy and final energy is got to, uh is is the same. So now what happens is, is that before when they get embedded, we are going to have the kinetic energy. Yeah, uh, so let's say kinetic energy, initial kinetic energy of both the the bullet and the block, plus the also the potential energy of the spring. Okay, the potential energy of the the spring. So this is initial. Should equal to the final. Okay, should equal to the final kinetic energy of both the block and the, 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 the bullet plus the final also potential energy of the spring. So what's going to happen is that the, the, the initial speed of the embedded uh, of the, yes, of these two, which is half M plus M, their initial speed plus half K X squared. This is the potential initial, of course. Okay, should equal to, should equal to half kinetic energy, which is final, plus also final potential. Okay, so let me use Okay, so what's going to happen is that the the initial potential energy of the spring, because the, the spring initially is not compressed, so this is going to be zero. Okay. And then the 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 block and the the bullets, they are going to rest. So the final velocity is going to be zero. So giving the final kinetic energy as well zero. So what we are going to remain with is half equal to half kx squared fine. So this x is what we are going to say x is equal to z that we've been given in the in the equation. And then this is the initial speed of uh, the bullet. So what we're going to have here okay, and that goes. So we're going to have M, M squared go to KD squared, okay.
And also, what we have to know is that this initial speed of the embedded, the, the, in the kinetic, uh, initial kinetic after they, they got embedded, is the final speed in, the, in this equation one. This is the same speed, okay? So this initial speed is equal to that one. So we can rewrite that as, I hope you're not lost. Okay, so we have in got k d squared. Okay, so we can substitute this now into the first equation, of which when we substitute, we get b. Sorry, so this is the squared, okay. M plus M. M. Multiplying by, we multiply by the root K e squared over M plus m now we have half there okay so what we are going to have now is uh, the speed of the bullet in the speed of the bullet is going to be um, we multiply Get that. Where is that? Okay, so that is going to be the equation for for the initial initial speed of this uh, yeah this bullet. So we can in the equation we've been given v, so we can use v i of the bullet to mean the speed of the bullet, and then we can bring out uh, d and m there then we have k m plus m like that so that would be the speed so we can use this equation now to find the question that we we have been asked in b so the question that we've been asked in b is just a matter of placing the values Yes, so we substitute the values in the in this equation to find our question B. So now we have our D is 0 0.1, from 0 Plus two. So what we have here is we have twenty root of two point zero zero five. 
So our speed is 28.3 meter per second. Okay, so that would be the speed of, uh, of the bullet, the initial speed of the bullet. And this is how we calculate. So if you, you've gotten helped by this video, kindly give it a like or give me a feedback by commenting and share, invite others as well to like and subscribe to the, this YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.